Hey there, Steve here from SellToHelper.com once more. And today I want to talk to you about one thing, the one thing, in fact, that you must do before starting your to course. Now, before we get into that, I just want to say that if you want to get a free ebook to help you prepare for the Celta course that I've prepared and written, you can see the link below this video in the description and you could get the ebook for free to help you start preparing for your course. It's packed with tips on how to do that. To come back to the video now, this one thing, this video is based on so many questions I get about people. People email me, inbox me on Facebook, whatever, and ask me all the time about this. And it's not just for one type of person, but I get particularly a lot of questions from non-native speakers. Now that's nothing about them in general, but it's more about their circumstance or their situation. And the question is this, Steve, what jobs are available to me after I get a CELTA? So my answer is that before you take a CELTA course, the one thing you must do is to actually go on a website and look at the jobs that you would like to do and find out what is available to you, right? This sounds so simple, but the amount of times I get asked this question is unbelievable. And I even see people sort of, you know, complaining about how it hasn't opened many doors for them. This course they were promised is like some kind of golden ticket, they think, and they can't get a job in London or wherever they want to go. Now, let's be real about this. A CELT is far from a golden ticket, okay? It's an entry level teaching course. It's over in a month. It is incredibly intensive, not easy at all, not easy to get onto, not easy to pass. But at the end of the day, in the UK, for example, we have what's called a PGCE, Postgraduate Certificate in Education. That's a year long course to be a state school teacher. Now, and it's an incredible amount of work. I've not done one, but my brother has and several people I know have, and it's incredibly intensive. The CELTA is intensive too, but if you compare that, that's to become a state school teacher, it's much more rigorous. So for starters, doing a CELTA is not the same as doing a full-fledged qualification to be a state school teacher, at least in the UK and what well, I know in all Anglophone countries, it's not as thorough. Number two, we know, unfortunately, there is a preference for English language or for native speakers to be English language teachers in many countries. Now, I'm not saying they're better, far from it. I know the benefits of having non-native speaking teachers and I don't see any difference. However, governments don't see that. So let's say if you want to go to China, you almost certainly have to be a native speaker, right? So if you're a non-native speaker, you're thinking of working in China, you've got to look at other avenues or other ways of getting in. Also, you know, the Middle East, they have visa laws where you can't get maybe a visa, a work visa, unless you're a native of a certain country. This is not something that you can complain about and change. This is a fact by law that nobody can change except the government of that country. So if you're doing a CELTA for that reason, let's just forget about it. It's a law. It's an immigration rule. OK, so let's be real here. And another thing that if you are looking to do the CELTA to work abroad, like I said, go on a jobs website, somewhere like tefl.com. I always say this just because that's the one I used. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not paid to say that. I just used it when I was looking for jobs. And it lays out quite clearly what you need to get a job. And it will say the visa requirements, okay? It will say open only to nationals of maybe UK, Ireland, etc., other Anglophone countries. It might not. It might say you need X amount of years experience. OK, but either way, let's be realistic and let's look in advance. Before we go and spend a lot of money because the CELTA is not cheap wherever you do it. Cheapest place in the world that I know of is a thousand US dollars. OK, and it's not in the US. That's just, yeah, it's about 850 pounds, 900 or so euros. That's not cheap for anyone really who's going to be a teacher. Right. Let's be honest. It's a big uh, investment and it's also a lot of investment in your well of time as well so a lot of effort will go into it let's make sure we do it for the right reasons 
The next thing to think about though is that if you're a non-native speaker, it's not you know the end of the world, right? Think about this. There are other assets that you might have. Can you teach another language, for example? Are you qualified? If you're a non-native speaker, are you qualified to teach your native language? Or are you qualified in another subject area? Because there may be ways to get around it, to get an initial job, perhaps. Again, I'm not in this situation. I don't know exactly, but I've heard from speaking to recruiters that it's possible. Let's say your first language is Spanish. You might be able to get a job as a Spanish teacher and then do some English on the side to top up. But if you're desperate to go to that country, you've got to read up on it first. Another way, if you can't, you know, if you haven't got the other skills, another asset might be contacts in that country, family, friends, or really good friends who might be able to help you out with a visa, perhaps in another way. Now, please don't go down, don't get too desperate and go for anything illegal because you don't want to be in that situation. But there may be other options for you. However, just make sure before you start out on your CELTA course that you are doing this kind of research in advance because at the end of the day anybody who tells you what the CELTA is going to do yes they're probably going to be selling your course but we've got to take a realistic approach it's not this yeah as I said golden ticket to a life of fame and riches it isn't going to be like that especially if you don't have experience and even more so if you're a non-native speaker don't let that totally dishearten you though because there's a lot of possibility a lot of jobs out there in fact if you look in the right places there's some quite lucrative jobs that you can find but again being realistic have a look think about yourself you know you've got to think about where your passport can take you what other experience have you got have you got teaching experience do you you know are you able to ask someone in that country for help have you got other skills that you can use to get a job in that country to combine it with the English language teaching? And what happens is I think when people are already in a country, often then it's that much easier because it's not the same as giving someone a work visa. It's much more flexible, if you like, when you're already there. But the problem is really getting that start. So that's my strong advice. Please, I urge all of you to go and do some research before you start out now some of you might already know and you might be thinking ah, okay, come on Steve but the amount of times I get asked this is unbelievable and so I just wanted to say that to you let's just make sure we're not doing the course for the wrong reasons so there you have it I hope that was useful for you please share this with someone you know if they're thinking about doing the course and they have questions and again, it goes for native speakers as well, right? It's not just about non-natives. Yeah, there are jobs just about anywhere you like, but there's criteria attached to all of them. Some of the better paid jobs will probably require you to have other experience, okay? So we can't just walk into this you know, high paid, incredible, cushy job. We've got to be realistic and we've got to earn that you know, step up in the future. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in obviously the comment section below. And yeah, any other topics for future videos, leave them in the comments. I'll see what I can do. I uh, hope you're doing well on your CELTA journeys and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.